Amigora, subscribe if you know around here and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy what you see. Thank you for hey guys, I'm Jose Andres, eh? Romy Gurai. You need to subscribe to his channel. Support all Manila vloggers, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, vloggers, friends and media, na nandito, magandang magandang umaga. Welcome po sa Capitolio. Uh, uh, well, some of you, uh, alam niyo ano itsura nito ng araw. Senator, meron ditong kubo nung araw. Dito, yung bata ni Eddie at Patty nakatambay. Uh, may toll gate dito nung araw. Kahit walang highway, may toll gate dito sa lugar na to. Symbol of filth, chaos, and corruption happening in this whole block. At ang pinakamalaking banyo, yun po, yun likod ni Andres Bonifacio. Sad to say. And what is more ironic is just spit away from the office of the chief executive of the local government here, or the mayor. And we pass by here every day. So sabi na, how can we govern or go further if we, in our own backyard, cannot put things in right perspective? And uh, I am grateful to my co-workers, DPS, uh, engineering, no? mga kasamaan namin, talagang inararo po ito. At makikita po ninyo, no? in fact, we're very happy just across the street, there is a machine donated by DNR, or what we call AQM, Air Quality Monitoring Machine, recently, a few months ago. And from the worst air situation by a Loton, because Loton is a small, like, EDSA area, very busy. O, pumasa po kami sa magandang hangin dito sa lugar na ito. We are going to continue to open uh, open green space in a highly urbanized setting. And we are grateful to our private partners, pati yung aming mag magiging bagong partners sa mga magkakape. No? Uh, kasi ang gusto namin, pinakikiusap namin sa kanila kung pwede yung ating mga beans ang itinda nila. And to the private partners uh, donating uh, in the city. Like mamaya, I think, sabi nga ni Senator, uh, uh, may isip ko rin, parang may mali kami yung ginawa. Inerkon namin yung banyo, baka may mabunti sa banyo. <laughs> oh. Pero huwag yung magkailangan may gwardiya dyan. Oh. <laughs> so, but, uh, we're very happy yeah, coming up with the finished product na lumagpas do sa inaasahan namin. Nagkaya-tutuwa kami sa engineering, sa DPS, and uh, umasa naman kayo, kayo mga naparito, at kayo po, uh, Senator uh, Recto, na ano man ang aming ginawa, uh, o pinagtuunan ng pansin, kami ni Vice Mayor ay pananatili namin kung ano yung nasimulan sa isang particular na geografiya before we go further so that we will be consistent we will be certain and, and we will not stop it's true that we are in the middle still in the middle of this battle called pandemic brought to us by a dreadful virus coronavirus but Again and again, I ask each and every one of you, by this time, it's almost seven months now, I think by this time we have learned already how to live with COVID-19. So at the same time, if you have that knowledge and capacity to do that, 
to not to get infected, we should practice it and go back to work safely. We cannot live and do your government do do law every day. No. Hindi ako I don't like to convert this country into socialism. No. This is not a helpful form of governance. Delicado. But what we must do is to continue to support the private sector to survive at the very least. Survive for the remainder of the years. Wala na makakabawi for the past six months ng loss. But if we in the government continue to help and address what is remaining and protect those remaining businesses Naturally, we are protecting ordinary people and more than that, we to the to the to the anxiety so that we can anxiety for people so that we can build consumer confidence in going to dining areas going to coffee shops going to more right in public transport because they know that the city government continues to offer free gold standard of testing to assure employer employees that they can work simply and the consumer will have the confidence that the one serving him or her is safe and healthy. Don't muli papaso and you're going to get it for free again. Drivers, bus drivers, then those who are employees and so on and so forth. And I am grateful President Duterte from the operating machine from DOH, from BBS, and yesterday I'm grateful to DOH that we have received a passing 100% uh, license to operate a molecular, second molecular laboratory built and donated by 100% discount. Kasi hindi ako tawad eh. Binigyan ako tawad, Senator, 100% uh, by, by the Ayala family. So thank you again to the people of Manila. Toits Ayala. Toits Pangilingan. Ah, yung isang bubuksan natin. Doon sa may bandang mga kali. Doon na doon sa pagpunta pier. Mga ilang araw, simula ngayon, tiway din yun. Laway-laway lang. So, naniniwala ako, ngayon napuproba yung paniwala na ang pamaraan pag may pinangarap at naitawid yung komunikasyon na yun sa mga sensible na negosyante. Now, it is true that private and government can work hand in hand. To develop our country, our city, and to work hand in hand to confront this pandemic. So, kaya sa inyo lahat, sa inyo bumubo, sa Ayala Group of Companies, thank you very much sa inyo. Sa walang sawa ninyong pagtulong sa Lungsod Manila.
Sa ating mga kababayan na nakikinig, ako'y patuloy na mananawagan, may panganib pa sa Maynila. Yes, may panganib. Pero hindi natin kailangan maduhay sa takot. Dahil itong panganib na ito, I think, we are old enough and we had experience already and we have at least na some knowledge that we can adapt to safety or ingatan ng ating sarili. Kaya, nananawagan ako, please, hiningi ko lang kusang disiplina. Wear mask, if you can afford it, buy a face shield. Practice physical distancing, wash your hands. Now, to the private sectors, to our partners in the national government through the Senate, as represented by a Senator Rector here, and to our people, to the friends in the media, the bloggers, in return. All of this, ginawa ninyo habang kayo dumadako sa lungsod o ang sukli namin sa inyo, pipilitin namin kami ni Vice Mayor na maging mainam, masinok, at episyente tutustusan, tutubunan, at bibigyan ng atensyon, madiing atensyon, itong pandemyang kinakaharap natin. Magbubuti po kami. So, good luck sa mga negosyante. I hope you continue to, to survive. And hopefully, kung kumita kayo ng konti, mas masaya ako sa inyo. If you can go break even, kabayit yung kuryente, tubig, bukan, nakasweldo.